on january an elderly man sat down at a desk in the office in washington dc with a stroke of his pen america's new but old president did away with what was effectively a muslim ban with the signing of the executive order titled proclamation on ending discriminatory bans on entry to the united states citizens from countries like iran and yemen could now travel to the united states if they possessed valid visa the stupidity of the ban as an alleged effort to keep muslim terrorist from showing up in the united states to harm americans was always obvious and now with the end of the ban it was especially so weeks earlier decidedly homegrown american terrorists had behaved the united states capital the era of muslim bans was once and for all over the end of the muslim ban does not mean the opening of america even as this ban was lifted a new kind of ban one that had been unthinkable a few years ago was introduced people from south africa who were not us citizens were banned altogether new restrictions which were in place until the trump administration suddenly removed them in its last days on travelers from the uk brazil and various other countries were reimplemented the boundaries and limits of this new world are even more strict than before the content of these restrictions all suggested the shape of immigration restrictions to come countries with inadequate vaccination or safeguards against covid-19 and countries with dangerous carrier that may or may not be stopped by the current vaccines are all likely to face bans in the future even as vaccines become widely available their quality and the extent of the spread of the virus in the home country are likely to become huge hurdles to traveling in a way that they never were before in another early move the biden administration sent out a new immigration bill to congress the priorities in this immigration bill reveal the same hesitation against motivate labor from abroad the trump administration for instance did not appreciate the large number of certain companies were importing to counter this the trump administration installed various procedural obstacles banning the issuance at one time and the reinstating it at another the hard question of whether workers from abroad could take jobs and middle class americans should have remains just as problematic as it was for the trump administration perhaps because of this the entire focus of the biden immigration policy seems to be focused on legalizing the 11 million undocumented individuals in the us as promised the biden administration will provide amnesty and a pathway to citizenship to all of them and also provide some permanent solution to those who were brought illegally into the us as children the restriction that the trump administration placed on shelter claims at the border and the detention of children separated from their parents are no longer the law